Live webinars are an amazing tool that you can use to add a ton of value to your audience and sell your products better. And Kajabi is an incredible platform to host your live webinars. And if you're a Kajabi user, you can do live webinars for free. You don't need any additional software or tools. It is an incredible value. Again, another reason why Kajabi continues to win because they just add all the features in that you possibly need. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up two types of webinars that are live, but how you can do this absolutely free and be able to host your own live event, teach some amazing content, sell your products better. If you are a Kajabi user, you're going to love this. If you're not using Kajabi right now, like maybe you use another platform for your live webinars, maybe you use another platform to host your courses or both, then why don't you just try Kajabi out and see how you can do this easier and cheaper on Kajabi. I've got a 28-day free trial that you can use below where the normal free trial on Kajabi is 14 days if you go through their website. But if you use my affiliate link below, you can get double that free trial, 28 days, plus a bunch of their training videos called the 28-day challenge videos that help you make your first thousand dollars while you're on the free trial, like one of my students just recently did. Jack wrote on YouTube, thanks to you, Graham, in the last 30 days, I've gotten Kajabi up and running, launched my membership site, and made my first $1,000. That's super awesome. To make money off of a platform that you're still free trialing on is pretty, pretty cool. And that is so, so easy to do if you follow their trainings, if you use the free trial. And the cool thing about using the link below is, again, twice as long to play with it. But if you decide to stick around with Kajabi and become a paying subscriber and customer of theirs, part of your payment goes back to supporting me and this channel at no additional cost to you. So again, it is an affiliate link below in the description or at grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. If you don't want to use the link or you already have Kajabi, no hard feelings. Now, I'm bringing up webinars because earlier this week I did a video on what I think is one of the worst internet marketing strategies, which is using crappy webinars where you just talk about the what and you never teach the how in order to lure people in and sell them the how with your product, whether it's a course or membership or coaching or mastermind or something. And that's just a giant waste of people's time, and it's just a bad move, honestly. Webinars are not a bad move. Pitching at the end of a webinar, perfectly fine. The difference is the quality of the content in your webinars. We want to give really good value in our live webinars so that when people come, whether it's a 45-minute training or an hour training or whatever, they actually walk away having learned something really helpful and felt like it was a good use of their time, even if they don't buy. So, so important. But selling your product at the end is a great move as well, and it converts really well, especially for high price products. So let me show you how to do this and set this up in Kajabi. And there's two main ways, uh, and depending on what you do, the both can be free, or one is absolutely free for everybody. So when you log into your Kajabi account, the fastest way to do this is under the marketing tab and using something called pipelines. And pipelines, think of them as a giant template where they pre-build pages and emails and uh, events and other things inside of Kajabi that you would have to build independently and connect together, these are pre-built for you and then you can tweak from there. So let's go to new pipeline. And what I want to do is just show you that there's two quick ways to do this. If you use Zoom, if you already pay for Zoom, if you pay for the Zoom webinar feature, which allows you to have a certain number of people on a live webinar using Zoom features, the Zoom webinar OVO pipeline is for you. It's going to pre-build a registration page, a confirmation page, pre-write some emails, and you're going to have to simply create a Zoom webinar inside of your Zoom account and paste that link inside the emails that only people who register get. Everything happens in Zoom, but the registration, the email capture, and the emails being sent and the offers being promoted happen inside of Kajabi. I'm going to skip that one for now because that assumes that you pay for the Zoom webinar feature, uh, and not everybody does. You can do live webinars with hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people, for free if you use YouTube. So let me show you how this works. Go down to the legacy pipelines. It's going to open up some older ones. And just go to the good old-fashioned webinar pipeline. Right, there's Kenny. And what it's going to build for you is an email capture, which is a registration page, a thank you page, 
the live page, which I'll show you how to set this up where the webinar actually happens, your sales page if you don't already have one, although you might have one pre-built that you can use, and a checkout page. So let's go ahead and generate or create the pipeline. They want you to give a name of this webinar. So this would be the name of the training. So this could be the webinar formula free training. Okay, so if I was gonna do a webinar on how to do webinars, which is kind of meta, right? It's like the movie Inception. And they give you two webinar types, pre-recorded or live, okay? I'm gonna do another video on pre-recorded webinars. We'll talk about that in another video. But today let's focus on the live one because you gotta teach it live before you do a pre-recorded one anyway. So let's do live webinar and they tell you YouTube live. It's gonna ask you what date and time are you gonna go live? So you'll choose that, uh, what time zone that you're in and then which offer you wanna sell. I'm gonna skip the offer for now because maybe we don't have an offer yet. I'm just gonna generate the pipeline. All right, so what it's pre-built for us is a beautiful registration page that you can customize. And this is where you're gonna send people when you email out your list or you mention on Instagram or YouTube, like, hey, come to my training, you know, and this is where you can change the name. So I'm gonna change this to, instead of generate 5K per month passive income by selling online courses, learn the three-step webinar formula. And it's already got the date and time. You can change any of this language. And this is just the landing page. You send people so they can reserve their spot, right? Let's save that. And then it's gonna have a confirmation page. I'm skipping to that right now. This is be once they, they sign up and register, this is where it's gonna take them. And you can change this information. You could put a video here. Um, you could have a picture saying, hey, thanks, you signed up. Check your inbox. You're gonna be getting emails from me uh, with details on how to access the live training, okay? Um, then you've got the webinar room. This is what I wanna show you. This is the actual live webinar link, the private page that Kajabi creates that you will be sending your people to where they can watch you streaming your live webinar and interact with you. So when you come down here, you see there's a video embed. You see a title and you see some things that invalid parameters. What this is, is where you have to put your video ID. So what we have to do is go over to YouTube and set up a YouTube live. So log into your YouTube account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. You don't have to be doing YouTube videos to do this. That's the great thing about this. Even if you have no public YouTube presence, this is not for a public YouTube video. This is not for your channel. This is just to use YouTube to host your webinar privately in Kajabi. So create an account if you don't have one and go up to the top where it says create video or post and you can say upload video or go live. We wanna go live. And what we wanna do is go to webcam, create a title. This will be the title of your webinar. So the three-step webinar formula. We want it to be unlisted. That way it does not show up publicly on our YouTube channel. We want this to be a hidden video stream so that we can only have it show up privately in our Kajabi webinar. Um, and what's important is we're not gonna go live right now. We wanna schedule for later. So this is where we want to schedule the time of the live stream to coincide with the time that you created inside of your Kajabi event, which I think for us was like November 5th or something. So I would make sure the time, the date and time is exactly what we want. More options, they would say, which webcam do you want? So you make sure you got your right webcam and whatever your webcam settings are. Click next, give it a thumbnail. None of this actually matters, but we're good to go. We've created it. What we want to do is share it, okay? When we open the share button up, we get this private YouTube link. This is the important link we want to actually copy. Let's copy that link back in Kajabi where it says video ID, right? We wanna paste it and then actually just delete everything but the video ID. That's the characters at the end of the URL that you got in YouTube. And there's, there's the stupid thumbnail of me. Now we know that this Kajabi page is pulling the right YouTube video, which will be a stream, and we're good to go. I wanna include the chat, because I like people being able to do the live chat while we're doing this, and I'll show you how to do all that. 
Now we have already linked our Kajabi webinar page to our YouTube live stream. Functionally for you, when you go live, you will not be in Kajabi. You will be in YouTube. So you will log into YouTube, you will open up your stream that you've scheduled and you will click go live. When you go live, you will be here in YouTube. It'll be using your webcam. You'll be just talking. You can share your screen. You can share slides, whatever you want to do, but you can also see the live chat, which is super, super helpful. So this is where you are going to live is inside of the YouTube live backend, but your people will be seeing it here inside of Kajabi. All right, so let's go back. Now, a couple of things you have to set up here. You have a buy now button, which is currently hidden. So let's go ahead and show. Okay, so this is a section below and you can edit this button. This button is where you want them to go to your sales page. So by default, it's the next step in the pipeline, which is the sales page they've built here. So if you don't have a sales page already, by default, when they click that button, it's going to take them to this sales page over here that you can tweak. Now, if you already have a sales page set up for a product, then instead of go to a URL, it's going to go to a sales page or go to a landing page, and you just look for your actual one. So if I go to landing page, it's going to pull up all the landing pages I've created, which I've created some dummy ones here, so I could do sales page. But if you had the name of your product and sales page, you'd be good to go. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can have a time reveal for this button. You can have the button show up after a certain number of seconds. You can have it come up after an hour. You can have it come up when you think you're going to mention the actual pitch, or it can be below there the whole time. That's really up to you. You can get rid of the image overlay. You can make this smaller. But just keep in mind, the button is pretty important because when you're getting to the pitch part of your webinar, you want them to be able to click the button below. And when you say that, click the button below, this will be a button that they will see, okay? I click save, back up here, and we're good to go. Now, if we click on the webinar itself, this is the actual event that Kajabi created when you click the pipeline. If you don't know where your events are, let's just show you, it's back out of the pipelines. Under marketing, there is a section called events. And there is that event. You didn't even have to go into the event section. It was just created for you inside of the pipeline. But what is the event? Well, it's literally a time <laughs> and that's it. Around that time and that name, they have some actions. And so they already have some emails set up. There is an email for congrats, you just registered. There's an email that starts an hour before the webinar, an email for 15 minutes before the webinar, and an email a day after the webinar. What I would recommend for you is that you would not only tweak these emails, but depending on when you promote this event, how much further in the, the past that you promote it before the, the webinar goes live, you might want to create a few more emails. So if you're going to announce this a week before your live webinar, I might create uh, an email the day before. So you get one the moment you register, one the day before. Hey, tomorrow, just a reminder, make some time tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going live the morning of, the hour before, the 15 minutes before, as many reminders as you possibly can never hurt. So you can just click on these emails and you can tweak all the, tw the, the data in them. You can say different subject lines. You can put, here's your special link. All of this is pre-written for you so it knows what page to send people to, where the live event's gonna happen. And when they go to that page, there's gonna be nothing but a countdown timer. You can add a countdown timer, I should say. You're, they're not gonna see the live stream. It won't show up until the appropriate time. So you wanna tweak all these emails to kind of have your voice. And then I would add a few more emails after the event that pitch your product. So they have just one email by default, ready to make a decision. And this is just linking people to the sales page now, right? And talking about, hey, it was a great training. If you missed the training, we talked about a few different things on that training and including an amazing offer we gave you. We had a free bonus guide if you stayed to the end of the webinar. So this is really your launch. So one email is not enough in my opinion, but I would have one the day after, the two days after, and maybe at least three days after with a couple of emails on that third day, just really promoting that offer. Some people ask about replays. Should you have a replay? You certainly can. If that's the case, I would 
take the recording of your webinar, which will be on YouTube. You can download the video after the fact and upload it as a video at the top of your sales page. And so you can use uh, these emails after the webinar training for people who didn't make it or for people who missed part of it, or just as a reminder, hey, you can watch the replay of the training. It's only gonna be up for the next you know, 72 hours or 48 hours and just embed it on the sales page so that they can watch the replay where it has a sales page, a sales pitch in it, but they also can scroll down and see your sales pitch. So you can add emails easily and say, this is a day after the event, two days after the event, a day before the event. It's all tied around the event and it's all automated for you. So this is really, really important. And if you wanna get really deep, you don't have to, you can add automations. You can add interesting automations, like you can add a tag, tag people who register for this event or tag people who open this email or whatever you want. You can get kind of crazy with automations, but you don't have to. At its simplest, these emails will preset and they're gonna send people, again, here's 15 minutes before the event, sending people to the same link that they need to go to. And that link, all they have to do is go, wait till it goes live. It's gonna automatically refresh when you're live and they can enjoy the webinar. And all you do is go live on YouTube. So let's go back to the pipelines just so you can see this one more time. This registration page, once you tweak it, is the one you're going to promote to your, your people. Come to my free training, come to my free training, register, register, register. The confirmation page is a thank you, check your inbox. The webinar room is already tied to our YouTube live stream. And then this sales page you can ignore if you already have one, or you can use this to build your sales page and connect it to whatever offer you want to sell. And of course, all the emails you can tweak or add or remove, and you're good to go. You can see how easy this is. It was all pre-built for you, and you can use YouTube to get your live stream set up so that when it's ready to go, you just go live. And, and let me just say, going live is awkward. It is uncomfortable at first if you haven't done it, but it's no different than Facebook Live or an Insta Live. You're just showing up. You're, you're loving on your, your, your students and your, your followers. You're acknowledging them by name and you see them in the chat. You're, you're having that, that connection that a sales page or sales video doesn't have that even a video like this doesn't have. When it's live, it's different. There's energy, there's a connection. It's people actually attending a real event in the moment. So it's a really, really powerful moment. When you welcome people into that webinar and you just you just make them feel special and you get into to the training, make sure you are prepared for some actual teaching. You can use slides, but you don't have to. You can just have notes on your computer screen that you're referencing on a piece of paper, but teach, teach, add value, like actually make it a real live training. The problem with webinars is again, people have just glorified a sales pitch by calling it a live training and that's manipulation. We don't wanna do that. You can have a sales pitch at the end, but actually give a live training first and then pitch at the end. And remember, people aren't going to all attend. Or even if they register, they're not gonna come. And even if they register and come, they're not gonna stay for the whole thing. So don't assume people saw the whole thing. Don't assume that everyone that registered is even gonna come. That's why the replay is so helpful, and that's why having some follow-up emails to make sure people saw the recording of the training is helpful. But don't leave the live training up forever. Make it go away. That creates some urgency, and it gets people to open the emails and gets people to watch the video you know, the, the webinar training, and it gets people to hear about your pitch so you can have a real launch and actually sell some product. But what it also does is it gives you then the ability to use that training that's now gone as an auto webinar in maybe an evergreen email sequence later, which I'll talk about in a follow-up video. So two things for you. One, if this has been helpful, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, has this been helpful to do a free live webinar training with Kajabi? And if so, what was the most helpful part? What other questions do you have about live webinars? Leave me a comment below. And two, if you haven't already tried out Kajabi, maybe you're just YouTubing the word Kajabi or Googling Kajabi, trying to figure out, can Kajabi do webinars? Is this a good fit for me? Yes, yes, and yes. I want you to try it out on your own. See what you think instead of taking my word for it. So try it out for free for 28 days using my special link below. You're gonna get some additional training videos that are gonna help you 
put together by the actual team at Kajabi so you can get the most out of Kajabi, play with it for a month, launch a live webinar, launch a product or use the webinar to launch coaching even if you don't have a product built or a mini course you could build in a couple of weeks. Like you can make money on your free trial, which is pretty cool, and then see if you like Kajabi. And if you do, you stick around, like I said at the beginning of this video, and you become a paying customer of Kajabi, part of your payment goes back to support me in this channel, which is pretty cool. If not, no hard feelings. But the link's below, or just go to grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. And as always, if you have any other Kajabi questions, let me know. I use it to run two businesses. I've been using the platform since 2013. I wanna make videos that are actually helpful for you so you get the most out of Kajabi. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you on another video real soon.